This workbook has invisible shapes with assigned macros that let you click on the heading of a column to sort that column. Here we have the units column and if I click it puts them in ascending order and if I click again it would put them in descending order. Same thing for employees and all the other columns have them as well. And there's a little space left at the right hand side so you can still use this filter drop down if you want to change one of the settings there. To set up a workbook there's a macro and to see that we can go to the developer tab click macros and there are two macros here the setup one time and sort table. So to see this setup macro, we'll select that and click edit. And here is the macro. And one thing you might need to change is the number of columns. So it's going to put an invisible rectangle in seven columns on my worksheet. So if you have more or fewer, you would change that. There's a setting here that just leaves a little space for the drop down arrow. So you can adjust that if necessary in your workbook. And this macro will start with headings in cell A1. So if yours start in a different location, you would change it there. This will just add a rectangle at the top left of each heading cell. It'll use the cell's height and the width minus that filter width. It adds the shapes and then it uses on action to assign a macro and the macro is the sort table macro. We can see that just below here and it also has variables. You can change the top row if necessary and the number of columns and the column that will be checked for the last row. So I'm using column A. Uh, you might need to use a different column if column A isn't in your table or if it might have some blank cells in it. This sort macro just figures out which button you clicked, which invisible shape you clicked by using application color and from that it gets that shapes column and then it simply sorts the table, it compares the first value and the last and then decides whether to sort in descending or ascending order. So back on our worksheet, this is a sheet that's already got rectangles and here's one that doesn't have them yet. To add the rectangles, I'm on the developer tab. I'll click macros, set up one time and run. And now if I point to employee and click, it's got that invisible rectangle and it will sort.